In this video cheat sheet, we're going to be discussing the wonderful world of BGP peer descriptions. We're first going to start off with the baseline show command show IP BGP neighbors to see if there's any descriptions there now. And then we're going to be customizing a BGP peer description to different neighbors. And then we'll finish up with a verification show command to, to see if the show IP BGP neighbor command is any different once we've configured some BGP peer descriptions. So let's look at the network topology. We're going to be configuring peer descriptions uh, for AS2 between router 1 and router 2 on router 1 and then also within autonomous system 1. So let's go ahead and get started. On router 1 I'm going to do a show IP BGP neighbors to see if we have any description and we don't. That's going to be right in here. Uh, for the different neighbors. So for this neighbor we, we don't have uh, a description and we're not going to have any descriptions anywhere throughout all this output. So between the neighbor uh, between router 1 and router 2 this is how you configure a description just like when you configured the remote AS uh, or next top self or any other commands for a specific neighbor you specify the neighbor and then you specify your parameter in this case it's description and the description that we're configuring on router 1 to router 2 is peer with AS1 router 2. I highly recommend you make these as descriptive as, as possible so that uh, future generations can come back and uh, look at it and other engineers in that support the network can come back and look at it and will know exactly what it is they're looking at so make them as descriptive as you can so now I'm going to do a show IP BGP neighbors and here is to this BGP neighbor which is the one we just configured 12.12.12.2 .12 the description is now there when it wasn't there before so we've configured router 1 to support a description to the peer to router 2. So let's go to router 2, uh, 3, 5, and 6 and now configure uh, a neighbor to 4 and the description peer with route reflector R4. Once again because these guys are route reflector clients all their configs are going to be the same back to router 4. So we'll put that on 2, 3, 5, and 6 real quick. And once again, you specify the neighbor underneath your, your BGP. Okay, there, it took it. Underneath your, your, your BGP config, you specify your neighbor and then the description keyword and then the actual description that you want. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for router 4 since it's the route reflector back to all these clients. We're going to configure all these neighbors with this with these descriptions and this way I mean we know that 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 is is router 2 but you, you're not going to have that that luxury of that simple IP structure in your network so these descriptions can can come in real handy so let's go over to router 4 and and do a show IP BGP neighbor pipe include description or the part of description and of course there isn't anything there because we haven't configured it yet so then we're going to configure these descriptions for router 4 to those specific neighbors where here each description is specific to each neighbor where on the clients it was it was generic because they all point back to router 4 and now I did a I did a the the pipe IP the show IP BGP neighbor pipe include description and now there's all the descriptions. So that's how you configure a BGP peer description. You specify the neighbor, you put the keyword description in, and then as, as specific as a description as possible. We covered the, the, the show commands with show IP BGP neighbors looking for the description. We customized the description, and then we verified that the description was there.